in this video we are going to learn ratio and proportion this is the first lesson of new chapter ratio means we are going to compare two similar quantities this named ratio and when we are finding the uh, ratio we are going to use the division we are going to divide one quantity to another one we are going to find the ratio here the important part similar quantities it must be which means as a note also it's given here meter and meter centimeter and centimeter kilogram and kilogram it can be you can compare kilogram and kilogram and ratio has no unit at the same time let's say if i buy three kilogram apple three kilogram apple from pazar and uh, if i buy three kilogram two kilogram oranges Two kilogram orange from the from the pazar. The ratio of apple to orange is going to be three over two. And as you see, we are comparing only the units here. Uh, the numerical values we are comparing, and we don't have any unit for that one okay here there is an exercise and we are going to try to understand with the exercise better at a school there are 250 boys 150 girls 20 male teachers and 15 male uh, 15 female teachers find the ratio of boys to girls firstly we should write the number of boys here we are writing to upper part number of boys why we are writing uh, number of boys because we are comparing boys to girls so firstly boys up it's going to be and girls down it should be number of girls is 250 then this is the ratio of the 250 over 150 is the ratio ratio of boys to boys to girls it's going to be boys two girls but we cannot uh, write 250 over 150 because this two number is divisible by uh, 100 and uh, this two number divisible by 50 that's why it's going to be equal to 250 i'm writing for a 250 over 150 which is equal to when you simplify by 50 this is going to be equal to 5 when you divide by 50 this is going to be equal to 3 then the result is going to be 5 over 3 and this is the ratio of boys to girls it's going to be okay for the second one girls to all students how many girls there are 150 150 girls there how many totally we have boys and girls because total students means sum of boys and girls which means 150 plus 250 it's going to be which is equal to 150 over 400 it's going to be again this two number divisible by 50 and if you divide by 50 this is going to be 3 this is going to be 8 so this number 3 over 8 is the ratio of of girls to all students it's going to be okay then the third one male teachers to female teachers here male teacher is equal to 20 female teacher is equal to 15 20 over 15 when you divide by 5 it's going to be equal to 20 over 15 it's going to be equal to 5 over actually 4 over 4 over 3 and this is the ratio of teachers female teachers to male teachers to female teachers sorry male teachers male teachers to female teachers 
is going to be. D and E, they are going to be classwork for us. Here we have some exercises about the ratios. The sum of two natural numbers A and B is 42 and the ratio A to B is equal to is 4 over 3. So if we have two numbers like A and B and the ratio of them A B is related with 4 over 3 it says they are equal to each other. So A must be a number related with 4 and B must be a number related with 3 which means I can write instead of A 4K and instead of B 3K. K is a number, K is a number element of Z it must be here. So uh, I'm repeating this part again. I'm going to find a number related with 4 for A. I'm going to find a number related with 3 for B because it says that their division, their ratio is equal to 4 over 3 because when you divide 4K by 4K by 3K we are going to find that the result is going to be equal to 4 over 3 which is A over B it's going to be. Okay. If we continue to our question, it says that here also there are two natural numbers. Uh, the sum of the two natural number is 42. So which means that 4k and plus 3k it's going to be equal to 7k which is equal to 42 at the same time. So k is equal to 42 over 7 it's going to be and k is equal to 6 it must be. Here we said like this a is equal to this is the second part a is equal to uh, a is equal to 4k which is equal to 4 times 6 and which is equal to 24 and the b is equal to here and b is equal to 3k which is equal to 3 times 6 and that's equal to 18 it's going to be and if we compare now a over b which is equal to 24 over 18 it's going to be and we see that the ratio it's going to be equal to 4 over 3 you see and if we add them 24 plus 18 it's going to be equal to 42 and we made the check here this was the check part now we are going to continue with the second question here uh, there are 162 marbles each of them here while well, the spherical glass that we were playing uh, as a kid when we were a kid uh, this is called marble also and uh, here there are three children and we are going to divide 162 um, marble among the uh, three children and the with ratio 5 6 and 7 and if you remember, uh, if we are dividing the numbers with the ratio 4 and 3, I said the first number, the child's number, the marble number, it should be related with 5. That's why I'm going to say for the child 1, 5k. For the child 2, it's going to be 6k. And for the child 3, it's going to be 7 K it must be 162 marbles there are so 162 it must be equal to it must be equal to 5k plus 6k plus and 7k it must be because the sum of the uh, marbles it's going to be equal to 162 so 162 is equal to 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 plus 7 it's equal to 18 K and 162 over 18 it's going to be equal to 162 over 18 is equal to K and uh, these two number they are divisible by 2 that's why 162 instead of dividing 162 by 18 you can divide by 2 and you can find maybe easy numbers if you divide by 
2 you are going to get 81 and you are going to get this one is 9 and 81 over 9 we know it's equal to 9 so 9 is equal to k it's going to be has taken the first child if you remember I said they're taking 5k so uh, it's going to be equal to 5 times 9 which is equal to 45 the first you are going to give to first child 45 mumbles so for child 2 we are going to give 6k which is equal to 6 times 5 uh, 6 times 9 sorry 6 times 9 54 it's going to be and for the child 3 we are going to give 7k and that's going to be equal to 7 times 9 which is equal to 63 marbles and when we add them 45 plus 45 plus uh, 54 plus 63 we are going to see that the result is going to be equal to 100 162 let's continue with the proportion what is proportion the equality of two ratio is called proportion so I have a over B this is first ratio this is the second ratio if they are equal to each other they are called a over B over C is equal to C over D form is called proportion the a is called the first term B is the second term C is the third term D is the fourth term in proportion we have different names also uh, for A and uh, D. We are calling A over M. By the way, I, uh, it's written here A over B is equal to C over D. So you may write the proportion into this form also. A over B is equal to C over D. Also can be written A over B is equal to C over D. And A and D, they are called extremes. B and C, they are called means. And this is very important part. This is called cross product here. A over B, A over B, A over B is equal to C over D means you can crossly multiply the terms and A times D, B, A times D can be equal to B times C. This is called cross product. This is called cross product. And for the uh, for the proof, I showed this exercise here. Two over five, we know that it's equal to eight over twenty, because we know that uh, when you multiply numerator and denominator by four, you can get four times five twenty. Four times two is going to be equal to eight. So. Here we know that they are equal to each other. These two ratio they are equal to each other. So uh, two times twenty cross product means crossly we are going to multiply like this. Two times twenty is equal to forty, and which is equal to it says like that five times eight, and we see that it's equal to forty also. So in proportion they are equal to each other. Okay. The first question, find the value of and, and if you remember, we learned the cross product. So 5 over 3, if it is equal to n over 12, and we know the cross product, as I told you before, 5 times 12 is going to be equal to, 5 times 12 is going to be equal to 3 times n. And to find the uh, n, it's better before multiplying the uh, by 5 and 12 before multiplying them each other it's better to send 3 to the other side which means 5 times 12 over 3 it will be equal to n it's easy to simplify here because the operation is multiplication so you may simplify 3 and 12 you are going to simplify and the result it's going to be equal to 4 over 1 and 5 times 4 5 times 4 which is equal to n it's going to be because over 1 it's equal to itself so 5 times 4 is equal to 20 20 is going to be equal to n and here this is the second question this was the a one and the second question is b over um, uh, 4 over 7 is equal to 12 over n 4 over 7 4 over 
4 over 7 is equal to 12 over n which implies that 4 times pardon 4 over 7 is equal to 12 over and it's going to be and if we crossly multiply here 4 times 7 4 times 7 it's going to be 4 times n 4 times n it's going to be equal to 7 times 12 and for finding the n we should leave it alone and we should send this one to the other side as division 7 times 12 over 4 because 4 goes to the other side as division and the last part it's going to be n is equal to uh, when we simplify this one and this one this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 1 7 times 3 over 1 which is equal to 21 it's going to be okay and I want to solve the uh, these two questions are similar with the first two that's why I'm not going to solve this one I want to solve the E1 here and for the E1 the others they are going to be class work for us this one and this one class work for us it's going to be and the e1 is e1 is 7 over n 7 over n is equal to 20 uh, pardon the e1 we are solving n plus 1 over n plus 1 over over 6 is equal to 20 over 30 Firstly, we know that uh, this ratio is equal to, at the same time, you may simplify from the rational numbers. We learned that one. Uh, we may reduce this one. If we reduce by 10, if we divide them by 10, n over n plus 1 over 6 is equal to uh, 2 over 3. It's going to be, because when you divide by 10, this is going to be 2. And when you divide by 10, this is going to be 3. And it is easy to do operation with these numbers now. Again, we are going to cross to multiply, but we have to be careful here again. I repeat this one many times in the previous lessons. Here, m plus 1, we are going to accept as a 1 term. That's why, while we are multiplying them, we should write in parentheses m plus 1. And it's equal to 6 times 2. Crossly, we are multiplying. Then, if you want to solve this question, you need to make distribution rule. 3 times n plus 3 is equal to 12. It's going to be 3n is equal to 12 minus 3. It must be 3n is equal to 9. It's going to be, and this is the last part now, n is equal to 9 over 3 is the solution of this question. It's going to be.